Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kendra. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Zach Posen Collection from MAC. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, just keep watching. Alright guys, so I started off with a clean face and I've already primed my face and my eyes and now I'm just dabbing on a little bit of concealer from the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and I am currently in the shade NW20. It doesn't exactly match perfectly so I'm only putting it over like pimples and stuff like that. So next I'm going in with the e.l.f. concealer. Um, this is just what I had handy right now, and so I'm putting that in the center of my face to sort of highlight with it, and as well as the corners of my mouth, corners of my nose, Cupid's bow, underneath my eyes, and in some other areas that still have like some, like I have a pimple still coming through. I didn't want to use foundation today because I wanted something really lightweight on the face and something very comfortable. And since I have pretty good skin, I really didn't need a ton of coverage. So I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. And next I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Light Plus and next the Haute Contour Powder from Zach Posen's collection from MAC. And I'm just buffing it out with my buffer brush from MAC. And next I'm taking the IZU palette in the shade Cozy Gray. And I'm just applying that all over the lid with the MAC 217 brush. I love this brush because it has a flat side and it's also fluffy so you can pack on the color as well as blend it out. And next I'm taking my MAC 224 brush with the color mauve over and pushing that all in throughout the crease. I wanted a really bold look. In order to keep it from getting patchy, I'm going to go in and use the same brush and blend it out with a little bit of performance art. Next, I'll be taking After Dusk and applying that to the lid with my MAC 217 brush. Then after that, I'll be taking my Shadow Slash Crease Duet brush in AC012 by Crown Brush, which I got in my Ipsy bag one month. I'll be applying the color palatable to my outer V with the smaller brush, and I will also be putting that along the lash line, and I'll blend that out with the fluffy side of the brush. I love this brush, especially for traveling. It's very helpful. Next, I'll be taking my MAC 242 brush with the color Floof, and putting that underneath my eyebrow to highlight my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye and a little bit onto the lid. I really love this color. This is one of my new favorite eyeshadows. However, I have stopped using it as a brow bone highlight because I just feel it's too much. And now you see me curling my eyelashes with my Sally Hansen eyelash curler, just whatever. And now I'm putting on mascara on the top lashes, on the bottom lashes. Make sure you get it really good and full because for this look, I'm not using eyeliner. Next, I'm going in with a little bit of Darling Clementine on the lips. And just to add a little bit of that spring orange color, and I'm gonna top it off with Sheer Madness to make it look very lustrous and beautiful. I love this combo for the lips. Ow! I seriously feel so goofy right now. This is so funny. Look at that face. Ooh, so serious. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe. Also, I will link my previous videos right up here. Thanks guys, see you next time.